In the process of doing the driveway, I widened it quite a bit and I have a ton of these piles of sod uh, laying at the sides of the driveway right now. So I do have a ditch and another part of the yard that I want to try to fill some just so I can drive across it if I need to. Um, it's more so for water runoff from the road, um, so it's not pulling on the road, but uh, I think it'll be okay if a little bit of it I fill in so that I can drive the mower across should I need to. So. I'm going to use the 10px here and uh, move some of this side. I figured this would be a perfect opportunity to get a video of this thing. So let's get to it. There's nothing entertaining about hooking up one of these garden carts, but I do got to say this magnetic hitch pin from John Deere is super convenient. You don't got to worry about a clevis pin with a spring clip in it. You just stick it in there. It's held in by a magnet. It's not going to go anywhere. It's super easy. Um, on a tractor like this, it's convenient. I just stick it right there in that hole and it's uh, held there so I don't got to worry about losing it. On the 100 series tractors, I usually just left it in the hole then when, uh, you know, I didn't have a tow behind on there. So, goodbye there. So now that we're hooked up, uh, let's get this thing loaded up. Now how much weight this is, I have no idea, but uh, that's some pretty heavy earth. Uh, it's actually kind of wet right now too, so that adds some extra weight. Um, but I think this cart handles it well and the tractor pulls it even better. So this is where I want all this dirt to be. I just want to kind of fill this in a little bit just so it's easier if I need to, you know, drive the tractor up across this for whatever reason. I'm not having to worry about going into this ditch. Um, you know, sometimes if it rains, it gets kind of wet um, with the diff lock and everything. I don't think I'll have a problem, but it just makes it easier and, you know, why not? So let's dump it.
as you can see the full dump super handy um, the only problem is if you have really heavy material like this it's sometimes hard to fold it all the way over and then actually pick it up to where it fully dumps everything out when you tip it back when you tip it back it may actually uh, load a little bit again but uh it's all right for now i'm going to be doing this a whole bunch so if it's not completely clean i really don't care but uh yeah in a nutshell that's how it works two handles and uh this thing fully dumps back um it's gotten a little bit better um as far as locking back together um i just hold the handle up put it back down and it does a pretty good job at locking itself back in for the most part and you can see i can't full dump it again so from there, lift it back up, and I locked it in, and it's good to go. So hopefully you enjoyed watching this thing work. Uh, maybe it influenced you to buy one. Uh, definitely a great buy. I like it so far. I've used it a little bit before this. So uh, pretty cool cart for now. Um, we'll keep updated if I see anything wrong with it. Have a good one.